to the uh, presentation for community initiatives in the East Yap region. So this will be a panel session where there will be three of us, one from uh, Wikimedia Malaysia, one from Wikimedia Australia, and one from Wikimedia Taiwan. So basically we will do some five or 10 minutes of presentation and for each person. And at the end, we will have some Q and A's. Okay, so the first will be by me. Okay, so um, from the community initiative for Malaysia, what we have done is that we have partnerships with embassies, but most of the partnership that we have done is through um, events partnership. Not, it's not really a long-term partnership, but it is more to a uh, short, short term because we just want to have a one single day event for the embassy and all the Wikimedia communities in Malaysia gather to have an event. So basically, um, I, how I see a partnership with the embassies in Malaysia is that I believe that um, the embassies are really one of the great um, partners that all Wikimedian community around the world should try to approach because they are really easy, at least um, in our experience in Malaysia, um, it's quite easy for us to approach them. We just send out the, uh, for example, our proposal, event proposal, and then we have some conversations. And then after that, when they agree to organize the event, then yeah, after that, we get some support from the embassy. So I believe that um, each of the affiliate or communities in uh, the world should try to approach with embassies. So here, um, so for in Wikimedia Malaysia, the, our first uh, collaboration was with the embassy of Sweden for the Wikigap back in 2021 and we started online. So it wasn't a physical event, so it was just online. So I guess it was quite easy for us to be involved or collaborate with them because uh, we already contacted with Wikimedia Sweden for this event and also the embassy has known about this event. So if there's any community with, for example, uh, low resource, which means that there's not that many people that could coordinate the event or there's not that many budgeting. So um, for having an online uh, event would be a great first step before proceeding with, for example, uh, physical events, because that's what we do. For example, in uh, for the Wikigap event, 2021, it was online, but then 2022 and 2023 is uh, physical events with the support uh, from the embassy. So, but 2021, they didn't give that much, for example, like budgeting or something because it's just online. They just support by trying to attract participants to join the event because that's one of our um, issues that we face in Malaysia is that if we do events alone with without any partners, we couldn't get any um, participants to join the event. We, it happened twice, I guess, yeah, it happened twice, and there were no, no one that joined our event. So by having partners, the partners will bring the, um, for example, for universities, they will bring the lec uh, lecturers and students to join. And for, uh, for example, for the Embassy of Sweden, they invited some of the university lecturers and students to attend the event. Okay, so yeah, so if you want to try to do this partnership, yeah, first, of course, you need to have a proper uh, proper event proposal and a collaboration letter because um, in Malaysia, um, these two are quite important because we are dealing with um, with a higher organization, so from the government in each of their countries. So we need to make sure that we specified what we want from them and the roles that they have and also what's the role that uh, the community can give for the event. So yeah, um, discuss with them, make sure you discuss with them 
if they reply for example what have happened embassy of france i contacted them in 2020 but then our first event was this year so it took like several few years to to manage to get the uh, event yeah so like what i said yeah um from in what when we do event proposals we specified um what we can give uh to support the event and what can the embassy uh, give to support the event for example like from our side for example uh, we we try to find the participants we try to um try to become the facilitator of the event the trainer of the event and for the embassy their uh, role is for example trying to uh, for example try to find more participants try to promote the event having the embassy logo in our poster so having this um, recognition and partnership will attract more people to attend uh, our event and then of course um, do ask what they can provide because that um, some depends on the embassy itself for example some embassy can provide support for example um, the food or especially certificates most uh, of the embassy that we have done uh, they can provide certificates so there's something in malaysia especially uh, most participants want the certificate and it's quite valuable so for example like this i have um, so this is one of the certificate for our 24-hour elephathon with the eu delegation and embassy of sweden so the, so this is the ambassador's part of the ambassador's signature yeah and then this one is um for the ukrainian uh, diplomacy culture month so this is the church the fair which means um the ambassador is um it's vacant so it's taken over by the church the fair uh, so this is quite valuable especially for students for future um for person who are trying to find a job and having this also will be beneficial uh, and also for us for the local wikimedians because um, you can also ask not only for the participant certificate but also certificate for the organizers for the trainers if you have it can be online as well not necessarily physical but can also be e-certificate and also yeah make a best first impression make sure you prepare well when you manage to talk with them either virtually or physically and then yeah stay connected with them after you are done with the event so make sure you stay connected and then maybe next year you can try to do the same event and hopefully it will be bigger than the last years and yeah the em embassies will connect you with many partners because uh, for example actually uh, embassy of sweden we have collaborated with for three years and for this year they invited us for example for a reception for the swedish innovation day so we managed to meet with many malaysians like uh, other organizations and also we were invited to attend the stockholm internet forum in stockholm uh, last may so it was all funded by the uh, government of sweden yeah so yeah this is one of the list of events wiki gap uh, this is from Japan, 40th anniversary of Malaysia Japan look its policy, Ukraine culture depressment. The effects for democracy is a 24 hour at a ton, which means that in the from 11 a.m. today until 11 a.m. the next day, all the participants from 13 universities um, compete to try to write um, best articles. And some of them um, didn't even sleep in the 11, uh, 24 hour. I, I did sleep, but the participants, some of them didn't. And then French National Day and French Bikidia teachers training. So for this one, it was last week. <laughs> yeah, I, I trained the teachers. But they were speaking in French, but I teach them in English, so I don't understand French. <laughs> but I teach them how to edit the um, using the Wikidia. Wikidia is a uh, Wikipedia, but for children. So yeah, these are the list of embassies that we have collaborated 
for events. So hopefully there will be more soon. For this year, we are trying to do with the Embassy of Japan again and also for the Embassy of South Korea. So hopefully it works well because we want to do it for the um, Wikipedia Asian Month. Yeah, so that's all from me. Uh, can you play the video? How to play the video? that happened uh, a few months ago <laughs> so it was very hectic but then yeah all of this event was uh, fully supported by the EU delegation so um, all the participants from around Malaysia their travels their hotel stay and everything the venue was fully supported by them and between Malaysia didn't even spend anything to we just come there but we, but the setback is that we have to Stay um, stay alive for the next twenty four hours. Yeah, yeah. So that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, and I'll share the uh, topic. It's the next plan of uh, Wikipedia Asia Month. I'm Rick from Taiwan. Okay, um, so I have started from the beginning of uh, Wikimedia, uh, Wikipedia Asia Month. Uh, it started in uh, 2014 in Berlin. We have a meeting. It seems like uh, Asian at one, and <laughs> the, the center is from Australia. And and the in this meeting, uh, we have um, we have talked about how about how uh, uh, cooperation uh, between all the whole Asian. Uh, but uh, someone says uh, we can we can we can have. Uh, we can have any uh, uh, cooperation just talking, just uh, the, but do nothing. We we should do something made, that can make Asian uh, Wikimedia communities together. So uh, the, uh, the, uh, I I remember the Addis Addis from China from user uh, user group China, and he referred to. Uh, mobilization order in uh, Chinese Wikipedia, and he uh, pro proposed the uh, Wiki, uh, Wikipedia Asian Month uh, from that time. 
So uh, in this uh, almost 10 years, we have a lot of outcome. We have uh, uh, 6,000 uh, 6, to 9,000 artic uh, articles every year and uh, uh, more than uh, 40, uh, uh, 40 to, uh, to 60 uh, projects join the, the, the event every year. And uh, in this long time, we have different logo. Uh, we have uh, established a new user group since uh, 2019. So uh, that's, uh, um, yeah, we have more articles in more languages. Uh, talk about Asia. So that's the past. That's the uh, very, uh, I think it's very good, <laughs> very good, uh, very uh, perfect outcome uh, before. But uh, since these two years, we met some challenges in this event. So uh, there's four challenges I list on this here. The first one is um, communities, communities in Asia did not support the program anymore. Um, in the beginning, we, uh, as, uh, we, we uh, sent the postcard to the, the, the winner, the, the contributor of, of in, uh, in Asia Monks from uh, several different countries. Uh, in Asia, but uh, I remember from four or five years ago, the, uh, there's only uh, Taiwan <laughs> still do this. So <laughs> the, the contributors from Taiwan feels, oh, why I <laughs> get, the, yeah, the other, the other contributor gets the, 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 the postcard from the other country, but we Get <laughs> the postcard from ourselves. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, the second challenge is uh, Asia is not, not seems a region in this movement. And you, you know, we have ESAP hubs. Uh, ESAP hub, hub is just a part of Asia. And uh, even the <laughs> Pact is not a region in Asia, right? And so uh, South Asia is total, uh, for, uh, it's totally in, in Asia, that's right. But Central Asia or Middle East in the, uh, in the grant, when, when, they, when they apply, apply a, the, the grants from foundation, they uh, merge to the, to some 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 uh, region not in Asia, for example, the Central Asia is uh, is uh, merged with CEE, uh, Central and East Europe, and the Middle East is uh, mixed mixed with uh, North Africa. I remember. So uh, the the Asians um, we 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 don't have more uh, more more chance to talk with each other we uh, uh, we have more chance to talk with some uh, some other regions people and the third challenge is that uh, postal problem uh, because we know it uh, uh, in the end of uh, 2019 we had <laughs> COVID-19 and uh, uh, post system uh, uh, frozen in these two years, in the recent two years, and it's not uh, not uh, not recovered, one hundred percent. I think so. There's uh, uh, several countries, um, the, uh, the 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 uh, Taiwanese uh, postal system says we can. Uh, we can we can send your mail to them. Uh, actually, I bring <laughs> the postcard or some uh, the, the, uh, some certificate. We 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 can send them uh, to 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 
to to this person. So if you if you know someone comes from Iran or Dominica, <laughs> please uh, ask, ask, ask. Please talk talk them to fi find me. I was have some <laughs> uh, postcard in these three years. I need to uh, take to them. And uh, also we have some uh, technology problem. Because uh, we use the fountain tools, I think you 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 know that uh, you, we use uh, the fountain tool to report the the contribute the contribute from every participant, but uh, the fountain tools only can uh, only can uh, re re report the new new articles. Uh, if you create a new articles, you can you can uh, account by the, the the system. But if you uh, try to improve some uh, exist articles, that's great contribute. But the 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 fountain tool can uh, get that. So uh, that will uh, limit some ideas. Uh, if what we want to want to do, so um, it's time to change. It's time to change, and uh, we plan. We 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 have two goals, two two missions uh, in our next step. The first is well, let as young back. <laughs> let us join, uh, support the event uh, in, in, in the future. And also we want to uh, let the user group become stronger, not, uh, not only a, 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 uh, how to say that? <laughs> a, a, a user group seems like a, a uh, a vendor of Wikimedia Taiwan. <laughs> yeah, all things do do by uh, the do, do by us. So how to how to do this to 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 how to reach the two goals? And the, in the first, how to let Asia back? And we think maybe uh, uh, the work the work to send the postcard is is too is too heavy. To have it to uh, to several countries because uh, we need to we need to uh, print some postcard and we need to uh, uh, write write the, the the address on there and send them. So uh, we cancel we cancel the, the postcard. We use the 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 uh, start uh, you know the e e e e word. Uh, 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 and also, we we design a new uh, we design fox dance, and that will uh, will let the Asia can uh, nominate some uh, some them some articles, some topic uh, around. Uh, like uh, the view or the culture around himself. Uh, for example, in uh, twenty twenty two, we have five fox then, and we have uh, Shindo, uh, Shiran in uh, is a, a, like temp, uh, temple in Japan, and we have uh, Islam in Asia, and we have uh, Nitro in Central Asia. We have uh, Astronomia languages, and we have uh, Hindi cinemas, uh, as known as how Bollywood, right? So uh, it's uh, that will bring uh, bring us to 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 fast to know uh, uh, dif uh, different uh, the the diverse diverse view from different Asia region, right? So uh, that's the, the 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 first the first change to to let Asia back. We try to do that, and also uh, we how to make the user group be uh, be stronger. 
Uh, so we plan to register new uh, non-government or non-profit uh, non organized in Taiwan, and that will help uh, because we can we can we can apply a bank bank account and get a grant, you know. So yeah, we can get grants and maybe hire some staffs to 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 push the to to uh, push the 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 event. And also we try to design the governance system for the user group because um, that's some problem because um, if according to the Taiwanese Act, if we are we 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 are uh, uh, registered uh, non-government organized, the uh, the chief the chief of the uh, organized should be Taiwanese should be the uh, citizen of of Taiwan, and. Uh, uh, if the board meeting, uh, the board meeting want the, this uh, want make decision by vote by voting, that uh, the meeting should be a uh, face to face. <laughs> you can you can do this online. I don't know why, but it's our uh, uh, it's our law, it's our law. So uh, we um, we plan to. Uh, make uh, uh, make the new organize organization like uh, like um, the the whole board member and the whole members are Taiwanese, but we can uh, we can create we can create a, a, a committee committee from uh, different. Uh, Different uh, uh, religion of Asia, and uh, the commun uh, the committee can uh, propose the new plan, the new plan, and uh, the board uh, should should uh, should uh, agree the plan. Uh, only we can only uh, reject the plan only if. Uh, Maybe it's possibly illegal in Taiwan. <laughs> so uh, we we think that that that, that will be a, a, a um, uh, how to say that uh, a, a system that can be run in the future. So uh, in, or in originally I want this session as a brainstorm so you can give me some idea or some feedback how to uh, let the, the, the uh, Wikipedia response go uh, uh, go on but uh, we have no such long time so thank you and uh, we can keep the keep touch and keep talking after this session thank you Um, thank you. Um, I'm Belinda Spry, um, Executive Officer from Wikimedia Australia. Um, I'm just going to talk quickly about our partner projects that we have run this year, uh, and then we'll I'll just skim through quickly so we've got time for some questions. So just quickly, um, a little overview of Wikimedia Australia. Uh, we have been a volunteer-run organisation for many years, but last year was the first time we received our grant funding. Um, you might see some of these familiar faces around at Wikimedia, Wikimania um, this afternoon. Um, if you haven't met them already, come up and say hello. We um, love to meet people from across our region and across the world. Um, and similar to many of the other organisations, we run training, we support editors, we um, co-design programs and partnerships, which I'll be focusing on. Um, and we're looking to work um, with uh, other countries in the region and we're also looking to advocate for open access. Um, Please don't read everything on the screen. I'm just trying to highlight that um, from our strategic plan, uh, we decided to look really closely at some of the areas where we could focus on growing content and working more closely uh, with 
other organisations in Australia who are aligned with our strategic plan. So we really took a focus on equity and inclusion. Um, I've just tried to put some of the other points up there, but you can read this in full on our website. Um, if you go to wikimedia.org.au, you can see our strategic plan and we took a focus on equity and inclusion, uh, looking across um, uh, First Nations people in Australia, expanding participation and representing, uh, representation across regional Australia, uh, and improving demographic diversity to ensure a sustainable movement. So we had a number of discussions um, with the board and myself and our, 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 the other staff member from Wikimedia Australia, and we came up with a plan where we would um, put out for an expression of interest to try and identify other organisations in Australia who had similar um, strategic plans to our strategic plan, where they were also looking to um, do a project, a joint project, uh, focusing on um, digitising their content, possibly having a Wikimedian in residence, uh, learning more about open access, open knowledge. Um, and so we developed an expression of interest, which we put out in February of this year. Um, and we specifically said your project must focus on uh, one or more of our uh, priority areas, uh, looking at um, First Nations communities, um, regional or remote communities, or Australian women. So we originally planned to have three projects and we would provide funding of $10,000 for each project. So we waited and the um, applications came in. And eventually we discovered that there was a lot of interest in this area and we ended up giving four um, partnership projects. Um, so we worked with Queensland University of Technology. Um, they had a large range of photographs um, and files, um, a lot of information uh, from regional Queensland, regional Australia. Um, that was really important historical uh, record of what had been happening um, in uh, countries, country Queensland and country Australia. Uh, and they wanted to digitise that uh, and make it openly available. Uh, we also had um, an expression from ACME, Australian Centre for the Moving Image. They wanted to engage a Wikimedian in residence to integrate Wikidata content uh, with their ACME website. So they um, are a um, museum in Melbourne, in Federation Square, and they focus on film, cinema, um, uh, historical um, sort of collections around women in film, um, popular film, and they have biographies of famous people, um, uh, summaries of films on their website where you can go and have a look and find out something about Nicole Kidman or someone famous from Australia. Um, but they wanted to pull the Wikidata content into their website as well as having their own biography. So to supplement the information that was there. So that was a really exciting project that we thought would be really great to investigate. Uh, we also um, selected University of Divinity who also wanted a Wikipedian in residence to add content um, across many wiki platforms. So Wikipedia, Wikidata and Wikicommons for um, a specific project, the Australian Women in Religion project. And finally, we also selected um, a council from remote Queensland called the Peru Shire Council. Uh, they wanted to do a, they'd never done any editing. They were starting from scratch from a really low base, but knew they wanted to do something about um, improving pages about their area and about uh, traditional knowledge from their area. So they uh, were looking to train people from their town, but also First Nations people to do edit-a-thons and improve, maybe take photos, do commons walks, and also improve information to possibly attract um, people to the region who might be traveling or just have an interest in the area um, with a focus on indigenous knowledge as well. So we had these four fantastic projects that really helped us um, address uh, key areas of, from our strategic plan. Um, I've also got the links on here. So uh, afterwards, if you have a look at the slides, you'll be able to go through to the links and see the expression of interest and the responses on our website. 
So I've just chosen one to give a quick overview. This is a project that recently completed. Some of the other projects um, are still not quite completed yet. Um, but this is the Queensland University of Technology. Um, Jill in the blue um, was the program lead at Queensland Uni. Um, in the end, uh, they achieved uploading 436 uh, historical images. Uh, they have documented their digitisation process, which has been really key for us knowing how they did it, what were the challenges, um, how can you solve some of the problems with um, old photographs, um, uh, getting the best digitisation. They also had equipment at their university, high quality scanners, which really um, improved the process and made it the images really clear. They cleaned them up using software um, and they also used uh, patty pan software to do bulk uploads uh, to Commons. Um, they've also been fantastic at promoting the project and letting people know about um, how Wikimedia supports open access. So uh, they have published articles in the State Library of Queensland newsletters, they've done blog posts and they've sent um, emails out to their partners so they've spread the word about what we can do together. And Jill will also be presenting at the NDF conference in New Zealand um, later this year. And we're doing um, a digitisation and preservation group webinar um, in September, I believe. So um, that's a little photo of Jill. But here are just a few of the photographs that have been digitised. Um, some colour, some black and white, but all really important historical documents that were just sitting in folders, sitting in files, um, but really tell the story of um, history of Queensland and Australia. So, um, just a few um, outcomes. I won't list them all because we want to leave time for questions. Um, but yeah, they have all really helped um, increase uh, information about Wikimedia and about what we can do and the types of projects that we're able to work in partnership with. Um, We've been able to increase content, obviously, um, especially in Wikicommons, um, but also in Wikidata. Um, we've started to really establish, as we're quite a new uh, office, we've just started building these long-term relationships. So we're hoping that some of these projects will continue and we can look at possibly extending these or doing more in the future. Um, we have just yeah increased the visibility of what we're able to do and able to do in conjunction with um, other GLAMs and universities. Um, and it's also been great for us to document some of the challenges and find solutions. So I will leave it there just so that we've got time uh, for questions. So sorry to skim through that so quickly, but um, yeah, we'd love to open up to the floor for you to ask any questions from Rick or Taufik or myself. So we'd love to hear your questions. Any working? Yep. Okay. Any questions? Kia ora, mālo lele. My name is Kasi Valu, and um, we're from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Um, and a lot of the work that we do, um, specifically as young emerging Wikipedians, is focused on the Pacific um, and documenting that part, but also within the art sector. So I wanted to ask, um, as a newly formed entity, uh, is there any interest or any kind of uh, future plans to engage um, within the Pacific? and specifically with climate change being uh, the main topic, especially with Tuvalu, uh, what kind of efforts would your organisation be looking into um, partnering in that kind of respect? Malo. And that, yeah, uh, that question's for you. Oh, yeah. Great. yeah, great. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's something that we would really uh, be interested in doing. Um, as, you know, we've just got a brand new office we've only had staff for 12 months but it's something that we have talked about um, we would like to do more partnerships in the Oceania region and especially sort of in the ECAP, um, ECAP region but I think yeah there's something we could definitely look at uh, we have also been running a project um, called the record which is recently uh, completed but from that we've had interest from the University of 
Technology Sydney, I'm trying to think which university, um, and they have the Conservatorium of Music in Sydney and they have a large Pacifica music collection. So they started to talk about we could do some edit-a-thons and have a look at doing some kind of project there. But it'd be great to make contacts with people in, yeah, in, in the region and look at what, what's possible. So yeah, let's have a chat afterwards. Thanks very much. Um, sorry, this is also a question for Belinda. Uh, so I, I really like the project um, that you talked about and the particular case study you drew out. Um, I was struck by the fact that in the UK, we very rarely work on digitization. Um, we're sort of coming in at the next stage, but clearly within this context, it was really important to actually document that, that history. And um, so I guess my question is what, what were the particular learnings? I hate that phrase. What yeah. did you learn? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been Americanized. What did you learn uh, <laughs> from uh, from that, particularly that process and supporting the project from the from the digitization? Yeah, I think it's something. I don't. Maybe it is unique to Australia, where I think people have got lots of resources and lots of records, but they haven't taken that step of actually scanning them or digitizing them or, or or doing something with them to actually make them available. So um, yeah, I think for us, um, yeah, finding out, you know, that they even had scanners that they would, that they had available there because they do do some digitization as part of their everyday work, but they, um, yeah, they were using different records uh, for a different project. But when they saw our funding, they were like, oh, we've got these other records that are particularly about regional Queensland that we would now be able to digitise. So yeah, it was a fairly time consuming process for them in the beginning to just um, work through work through the Creative Commons licence and what have you. But yeah, I think, um, yeah, we've learnt a lot about the time involved that it takes to do the digitisation process. Um, um, yeah, but they are now in a position where they could continue to do that um, and we've kind of got over that sort of initial learning curve and they've now got a really good process in place and learnt about some new tools like Paddy Pan and things like that to, to speed up that process. Any other questions? I'm getting a wind up. <laughs> you are always welcome to come and speak to Taufik, Reek and myself, Belinda will be milling around we'll be here for the afternoon so please come and have a chat to us if you still have questions but thank you so much for coming along and hearing about what's happening